Hello and welcome. So today I have some jerseys, bib shorts and socks to review. So these were sent to me courtesy of Lameda and yeah, um, this is the first time I've ever done like a sponsored post or however you want to call it. So full disclosure, they did send them to me for free, but this is my own opinion. They didn't like give me any money to say how wonderful their products are, but I am just going to be honest and give my professional opinion, basically. So they are a company based in China and I live in China, so it makes sense for them to send it to me because I can receive it in like two days rather than everyone else back home has to wait like two weeks before things get sent to them. So yeah, it's quite convenient for me to review products from China just because I live here. So yeah, let's jump straight in. I will show you what they sent me. First off, we have a pair of socks. Honestly, I've worn these socks a few times out on some rides and I actually really like them. Um, they're pretty standard socks, nothing amazing. You've got the pink blue gradient color here, which is quite nice. And on the inside, you have some sticky bits here to stop them falling down. They're very comfortable socks. I mean, as far as socks go, they're very good. Nothing, nothing bad to say about these socks, really. So that's the socks done. Okay, so first up, let's talk about these bib shorts. So these go for $78. And to be honest, I quite like them. They're comfortable, the, the chamois is soft and pretty good quality. The stitching is good as well, no complaints. I haven't had any comfort issues or anything like that. If you are uncomfortable on the bike, then you probably need to adjust something on it rather than just spending money on bib shorts. I don't think that will solve a comfort issue. So the material is quite stretchy. It's 85% polyester and 15% spandex, which is quite good for people who are a bit larger like me. I found it very comfortable. I don't have any real issues with it, to be honest. On the legs, you have your some grippy material here to stop them riding up or sliding down, so that's quite cool. I do find that is very grippy. It's actually quite painful if you don't shave your legs like me. So yeah, that's cool. I would have liked this bit here to be a bit more, a bit more breathable. Like some bibs are much lighter here, but this fabric is the same all along. So from the bottom of the shorts to the top, it's the same fabric all the way along. So from here down to here, it's the same, but some have a bit of a lighter material here going over your shoulders, which is which would be nice as well. I found I did sweat quite a lot at the back here, just on the lower back, but it was a very humid day when I took these out. So yeah, I am just a very sweaty person as well. So for reference, I weigh 97 kilograms and I'm 185 centimeters tall. I got a US large and the fit is quite tight on me. Um, if I had a chance to do it again, I probably would have ordered a extra large. The large is just a bit too tight, I'd say. It's not like painfully tight or anything, but it is a bit too tight for me personally. If you like the tight fit, then sure, go for it. Okay, so that's the bib shorts done. Let's talk about the jersey. Okay, so you've got quite a nice light blue color here. As far as I'm concerned, the brighter you are, the easier it is for cars to see you, so it's safer. The design, well, it might not be your cup of tea. I think it's quite cute. So you've got a little dog here on the front and then a dog on the back as well. So yeah, there's plain ones as well in the shop if, if something a bit more boring is your cup of tea. So you've got the normal sticky material on the back to stop it from riding up, which is quite good. And then the zip is quite nice, high quality. I don't think this will be breaking anytime soon. I've worn it a few times out and I'm quite rough with it and I haven't had any issues so far. So on the back, you've got three pockets. I've used them with my phone inside and I haven't had any problems with it like falling out or anything. I would prefer to have a zip on the back and they do actually sell different jerseys which have a zip, but this one, this particular one doesn't. This bit here has a bit of reflection as well. So a bit easier for the cars to see you. It is quite stretchy, just like the shorts, a bit stretchy. So the material in the arm is a bit different. So it's smooth on the back and the front and then along the arms, it's a bit of a lighter material, so it's a bit less sweaty there. So the arm doesn't have any of the sticky material to keep it in place, but it is very light. And the logo here is quite cool, it's reflected. It does look very professional. It's all well and good me talking about it in here. Let's take it out for a ride and see how it goes out there. So I'm on a test ride here with my Lameda bib and shorts. So yeah, so far it's pretty good. It's not 
the stretchiest material and it's quite breathable. I am sweating a bit, but it's a very hot day. It's about 25 degrees here and it's very, very humid. So yeah, I wouldn't want to wear this if it was even hotter. If it got to like 30 degrees, I think I'd just go topless, but all each to their own. I know not many people want to do that. Yeah, anyway, it's quite good so far. It's stretchy, it's comfortable. My bottom feels good. Yeah, it's very nice. I do like the, the leg material. That's very nice as well. It's soft, stretchy, and it fits quite comfortably. I think I should have gone for a size up, really. I've gone for XL. I'll put my measurements on the screen, but this is very, very tight. I would prefer to go for more of a relaxed fit, so bear that in mind if you want to buy one. So yeah, um, that's the bibs and the shorts. I've also got the socks, which I'll put up there as well. Also, these sunglasses are La Maida as well. I think they look quite cool. They're very colorful. They, they're they fine to look through. The coverage is really good. There's no like light leakage or anything like that. And these ones I actually paid for myself. So yeah, there you go. All right, um, that's about it. Cool, cool. Okay, so after I took it out, I realized I contradicted myself a bit. I said it was stretchy and I said it wasn't stretchy. So you can look at it like this. It is, it is it does have a bit of stretch, but when I wear it, I've sort of already stretched it out to its limit. So when I'm wearing it, it's not that stretchy anymore, but the material itself is quite stretchy. Anyway, um, that's it really. So overall, I think for the money, it's very reasonable. I know how expensive cycling, cycling accessories can be. So if you don't really want to spend an excessive amount on clothes, then yeah, I think it's a good option. Um, I have a code if you would like to use it. It is JM15, which gives you 15% off. So yeah, um, overall, pretty good. I'm happy with them and I hope you will be too. So I've only been wearing it for about two weeks, but I plan to make a long-term review after like half a year maybe. So if you want to see how it lasts, how the longevity is, if it like starts falling apart or anything, then subscribe and I will be sure to make that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what sort of bib shorts, what sort of brands you use, because I personally want to buy some more as well. So if you're keen to see more Chinese jersey reviews, then subscribe and that would be fantastic. If you like the video, thumbs up and yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Thank you to everyone who subscribes. It means a great deal to me and thank you for watching. Goodbye.